Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the iPhone App Podcast, and today we're going to take a look at an app called BrightKite. BrightKite is basically, right now, it's invite only, but it's a social network, a location-based social network. So it makes it easy to find people um, that have similar interests or are um, have been to similar places that you've been. Um, this app, uh, BrightKite's been very proactive. They had a amazing web app, a very amazing web app um, uh, prior to this. I almost thought that there is no way that they were going to be able to improve on uh, their web app, um, but this app, this native app, is actually amazing. So the first thing it's going to do is it's going to try and locate you here um, when uh, when you log in because you've got we have auto find me on as you can see right here um, if it doesn't pull your correct information you can click pick a place and it's going to load all of the businesses and uh, probably previous um, other locations that have been published uh, published um, publicly uh, for people to um, to view as well so um, all these things typically it does take a little bit longer to load up than I would like um, but it just really depends on how strong your, your network is. Sometimes I'm really trying to go fast and, and sometimes this find me isn't, uh, isn't fast enough, but whatever. So the point of the app here is, um, to check in where you're located. This little icon up here allows you to set your location to public or private, which is nice if you don't want to actually publicly broadcast where you're at right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and check in and it's going to check me in at this location and then it's going to show me anything that's going on around uh, my vicinity so most of the stuff's me there's a couple of people um, that are usually within my area but not too many um, so we've got that going on there I can also click um, uh, people and just view the actual people that are around me um, which is kind of nice also and uh, see I've got you know some friends here that are in the local area this pretty much consists of the only people in Modesto that are actually on BrightKite but nonetheless BrightKite is still one of my favorite social networks um, so let's go back to the front page here or the front screen you've got check in post a note post a photo so posting notes and photos really uh, are what make this interesting because when you actually go and look at um, some of these locations if people have been there before you then you kind of get to read and see what they've experienced in those places so that's what makes it a lot of fun um, and then you know as you use the app more you're gonna get more friends and stuff and you can view their feed and see exactly what they're up to um, and I mean I've got I, I have friends from all over the United States uh, some friends from other parts of the world on here um, and what was really cool is I uh, took my, you know, I had my iPhone on me when my wife and I went on our honeymoon this summer, and I was down in um, in Mexico, like in Puerto Vallarta, and uh, some of those nice spots down there. Um, and people had actually checked in uh, using BrightKite in those areas, so it was really exciting to see some of the pictures and some of the things that people were saying. Um, uh, in those areas so it's just really neat to see like okay cool somebody was here before me and uh, sometimes it's even more exciting when you're actually the first one in that location so uh, if you really just want to discover who's nearby you people who are actively public right now you can actually just click nearby now I'm looking at nearby people within 4,000 4, meters and then I can click on activity and see the different activity that's uh, that's going on within my general vicinity. Um, you can send messages like, uh, you know, internal emails to people, and then there's more here. You can set place marks. Place marks would be places that you go often. Uh, you can, you know, set some place marks so that you could check into places really easy. Um, like I have my work and my home easily to check in. Uh, I can search out places. Um, I can search the universe, which is pretty much just um, a feed, you know, of everybody that's out there and what's going on currently, uh, which is kind of fun. It's like on Twitter, you know, when you view everybody's tweets, uh, even the people that aren't your your uh, follow that you're not following. 
So there's some real interesting things, uh, you know, to see because people are taking pictures and adding their experience like Japan. I mean, there's some stuff going on all over the world uh, using BrightKite. Um, and then friend requests right here, and then you have some basic settings also uh, that you can modify as well to kind of customize your experience. Um, so really cool app. Like this app is just amazing. When it launched, uh, there was a lot of buzz. Um, I mean, nobody's had anything bad to say about this app. Uh, even the reviews on iTunes are just amazing. Um, and the people out there, the other um, iPhone app reviewers out there have just had great things to say about this app. Um, I use this app daily. It is one of the few apps that I use every single day um, on my iPhone. And it's free. If you have not uh, had an invite to BrightKite, I do have invites available. You can send me an email at iPhoneAppPodcast at gmail.com and I will send, send you an invite to the email address that you give me and uh, invite you because I have a whole bunch of invites saved up and I can give those away. You can also uh, hit me up on twitter.com slash Jared Hill, J-E-R-A-D-H-I-L-L, -L, and uh, I can, you know, shoot you an invite that way as well. So, BrightKite, definitely go download the app and join BrightKite because it's a lot of fun and add me as a friend. My BrightKite is uh, brightkite.com slash Jared, J-E-R-A-D. So until next time, this is Jared with the iPhone app podcast. Take care.